the only sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, the heavyweights coming up on November 4th. This is a bomb burner, fellas. This is your WBC champ, Deontay Wilder versus Lewis, the real King Kong Ortiz. Now, this is two of the baddest three heavyweights out there. Right? So when this fight happens, no matter who won, who wins this fight, let's go on and give them some love and some props. Because we tend not to do so. But let me tell you what my man Real King Kong had to say. He's like, listen, Deontay Wilder going to run for me. <laughs> That's his point. He's going to run all night. And he also said he's nervous right now. He can't even remember the date of the fight. Deontay Wilder talking about November 14th, even though this fight's on November the 4th. So the man must be nervous. And, uh, you know, real King Kong Ortiz, 38 years old, he said, man, don't, don't y'all worry about my age. I still got my speed, and, and uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. So he thinks he's going to do away with anybody. He hasn't lost. He didn't think anything, anything else. I told you guys on several occasions, an undefeated Cuban, that's a bad boy, regardless of what weight division. Undefeated Cuban, when you got that in the senses and you're talking about boxing, then you're talking about somebody who's very dangerous. So this is going to be a real real, real good fight in the heavyweight division. Now, Anthony Joshua's over there. He's going to take care of Kubrat Pulev. And then we're going to see we're gonna see what time it is. Right? Now, if, if Joshua gets through that, maybe these guys can unify after this fight. But I'm really excited about this. And I'm going to say something, too. If Deontay Wilder wins this fight, we ain't got nothing to say. It's time. You know, he's a WBC champion. He's 38 and old with 37 knockouts, and we're still not giving him no love. If he does this, there's nothing else to talk about. Well, I don't want to hear you about unification and all that stuff. You can unify, yeah. But if you be uh, uh, the real King Kong, then you've done something. And I told you guys before, Deontay Wilder's life or boxing life up until now would be a nice movie. A real good movie, right? With all the stuff he's going to do after what he went in the WBC Championship, it's just cream. Up until now, he's already done enough stuff worthy of a movie and a damn good one. So, I, you know, I'm hoping for them to win. But I'm saying that whoever wins this fight, you know, they are worthy of a lot of props and some love and some uh, acknowledgement, right? Either one of these guys. So that's the kind of fight that you want to see when you know that whoever wins this fight has done something very, very significant. So uh, Lewis the Real King uh, uh, Kong Ortiz, as, as he's talking a good game because he knows he's bad, you know, and I agree with him. So, let's see how this thing turns out. Lewis, the real King Kong Ortiz, has said Deontay Wilder is going to run from him. Now, let me tell y'all something before I uh, sign off here. You know, Deontay Wilder, you know, he was said he couldn't, he didn't have a jab. He can't uh, fight on the back foot and all that stuff. He proved that against um, the main Stavern. You know, jabbed him with one hand for, four, uh, for eight rounds. Did the same thing to Chris Ariola. Chris Ariola told you after the fight, man, that jab is something. Right, so let's not try to act like Deontay Wilder can't jab. The man is learning on the job, and he's doing a damn good job of doing so. So this is a major fight. I'm interested to see it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, the real King Kong. You know, he's uh, he's he's very, very confident. And another thing, too, you know, Deontay said something, too. He said the last time King Kong was in New York, it didn't go so well for him. So let's see what happens. Dome Sports Talk Worldwide, and I'm out here chilling. And I'm a body.